Hey guys, how are you doing? It's been a while, a few days. My cold is getting a little bit better. I recently made a new song on Ableton Live that I've posted on Instagram, Twitter, and SoundCloud. I was able to get 10 new followers on Instagram and Twitter. I got 71 likes on Instagram. For someone like me who doesn't have that many followers and that big of a fan base, or a fan base at all, that's something that's actually pretty special to me. It makes me feel like, oof, I, I did something for you. Damn. And when you get a lot of good positive feedback on something you work really hard on, you do kind of feel motivated and special in a way. Like you feel very good. I've recently been doing a little bit of studying on how to grow your fan base, and I see a lot of results about how to get overnight success, how to become a one-hit wonder, how to write that hit song in under 30 minutes or something like that. And I don't really agree to that mentality. One of the first reasons that I don't agree with that is because you don't really have a skill yet. If you're searching on how to grow your fan base or how to make a viral video, and if you have to search for how you do things like that, chances are what you're gonna end up creating at that point in time is probably not worth a million dollars. And if you look at successful people like, say, Casey Neistat or Stevie Wonder, they're able to produce 100% great content back to back to back to back. And that's not something you can do if you have to search for how to make a viral video or how to write that one hit song. You need to first be able to have a skill that people recognize for it to actually have any popularity or any relevance at all, in my personal opinion. My second reason, which kind of ties together to my first one, is that you don't actually have the experience yet. One of the biggest examples is workflow. You make one song, your first song, it gets very popular and you have 10 million views on that video. Now when you have to make the next video or the next song, you're not going to have the right workflow or the right schedule to actually be able to produce consistent quality content. When I look for YouTube and I subscribe to people, consistency and quality is one of the most important aspects in my opinion. If I see one person with a great video, I may like the video, I may watch it many times, but I won't subscribe to the channel because I'm not going to gain anything out of subscribing to them. Or if they're consistent but then their quality is lacking, why would I want to watch subpar videos or listen to subpar music on and on and on? And finally, the third reason why I believe it's so important to not wish for overnight success is your fan base. You don't get to control your fan base. If you go to bed right after you, you upload your content and then you wake up to a million subscribers, they don't know you and you don't know them. And the problem with that is if you were to say work five years in producing consistent content and you get like-minded people who agree with your thoughts, who like what you do and you appreciate what they provide as audience, you are able to grow a nice community within your channel. In my opinion, loyal audience is a lot better than a large audience, if that makes sense. This is why I firmly believe it's so important to work on your craft for months or even years. One of the better examples that I've heard recently was Samuel Jackson. He's been acting for probably all his life and he was 45 when he got one of his actual better roles. So he was probably unmotivated many times, having hard times in his past, all the way up until 45. And I'm 21 right now, that's longer than twice my age. Right now, I'm making music, and I'm also making videos. If I can become successful in those, that's great, but I'm not expecting to have 100,000 subscribers. I'm not expecting to sell 1,000 copies of a song or an album. Personally, I don't want overnight success, because if I were to become very popular overnight, I'm not gonna have the skill or experience to maintain a fan base, and I would rather have a loyal audience as opposed to have a huge audience who doesn't really care about me personally, just enjoyed that one content that I've made. That became popular by luck. So this is just my opinion and my thoughts that I've had recently that I kinda wanted to put out there just for the heck of it. 
And if you agree with it, that's great. If it changes your mind, or if it brings a new perspective to the table, that's great. And I also do believe that this will not apply to every situation. So please do take what I say with a grain of salt, because this is something that applies to my situation right now. And I'm hoping that this may apply to your situation, or your friend's situation, or your parent's situation, or your kid's situation. Having an open mind is so important in my opinion. So thank you for watching if you made it this far into the video. I definitely enjoy making these videos. I should make it more often. But uh, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace out.